Hello everyone, welcome to Zade's Element, I'm Zade, and today's element is The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass Chapter 5. Mm. Ah. We are in the place we are in. I uh, don't remember what it was called. It's the temple dungeon place on the Isle of Ember. We just got the boomerang and uh, whoa fireballs. Go fireballs! Good thing they're slow movers. That is one hindrance of the touchscreen. You have to use the touchscreen to move and attack, and it, it just is. It, it's tough. It can be tough, but it's super fun, and we all love it. He will reveal a treasure chest. Boing! There are no treasure chests on this floor. Oh! Well, I guess I was wrong. Kind of. Yep, that's what they do. I remembered it. Oh, I totally pushed that first. You saw me do it. The rosies. Ooh. Get whatever's in that chest. Ooh, the heart. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> no, I'm gonna miss the touch breeze so much. The 3DS and just the whole DS family is pretty much obsolete now. <laughs> that went better than expected. ever paid him to reveal this chest before. Boing boing. The only treasure chest left here is one. It'll cost you 20 rupees to see where treasure lies. Tell me. This is where treasure chests are on this floor. Look at your map. Make note of it on your map. Right there. That doesn't look like a treasure chest. <laughs> ah! Yep. 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 Neither does that, but okay, here we go. Probably should have drawn a check mark there. Did you take notes? I'm going to erase it now. Go ahead! I dare you. Oh ho ho! <laughs> On the comeback, I got them good. I'm sorry! <laughs> ah! Right into the lava. Oh! Can... There it is! Can you not hit those keys? I was free of my sword, right? And it didn't hurt them. Hmm. Boop -a -doop -a -boop. Mm, I got the twenty dot the twenty rupees I spent. I forgot where that was. Worth it? You make it. Is a keyed area. Which, if I would have looked at the map, I would have seen that where the key is is a dead end. And I wouldn't come all the way over here. Well, well, well. Whoa! Hiya! 
sweet and I got the key. But I, you know, pulling it back to me, that's... That was the cool part. You got a small key, use this key to open my door. Such a door to open it. I'm reading the same stuff again. <laughs> ah. I'm tired. Right all of a sudden. Bum, bum, bum. More giant boogers. Ow! Girl's booger was on me. Ooh, blow out these candles. Happy birthday! Where's my phone? Okay. <laughs> I love it. I love how this game uses everything. Touchscreen, microphone. Although I do not remember. This, I think there's going to be a sign somewhere. Which I think. Right over here. I think that will tell me what I have to do over here. But I was saying stuff and I interrupted myself and now I forgot. Whoa! Give me a knee, man. Oh, there we go. Ooh! Take them stuff. Quick as you can, flip the four switches in order. One, two, three, four. All right. Okay, what was I saying now? When you see something you've not read on your map, that's a key survival skill. That's also what I did. Like, death. I think that's what I was talking about. The part when you have to close the 3 uh, the DS. I don't remember how you're supposed to do that part. Because you, you can't close the Wii U, so... How do, how do you do that? <laughs> huh. That's one of the, you know, one of those awesome 3DS things that only a 3DS could do. Oh, I love it so much. <laughs> boing, boing. The only treasure chest left here is one. Mm, no thanks. Whoa, what's this? It looks so ominous. Let's just be, you know, the bathroom. Yeah, I don't think I can get them. <laughs> I think you have to kill those fire keys with the boomerang. Give there for a boomerang, protect me. Ooh! Oh! Those are crafty little floating flaming skulls. Oh. <laughs> I made the floor up here. Okay. Let's go here. When all three torches are lit, the path will be revealed. <laughs> Did I mention how much I love it? What do I have? Someone mentioned again. I love it. <laughs> oh! I did not think I'd make it. I think I missed one, don't have to carry it. 
The boss gets a huge, heavy key. Tap close to yourself to set it down and tap far away through it. Yep. Okay, Link, let's watch uh, walk a little bit slower. Because you're, you're going at a dangerous speed right now. <laughs> I'm sure this thing is made out of, you know, solid metal, so it's understandable for him to walk slower. And that thing is definitely heavy. Like it said, it's huge and heavy. Huge, heavy, and kinky. Mm-hmm, <laughs> that's kind of right. Eh. Oh! I just realized, yeah, it was the boss door. We're going to go and fight the boss now. <laughs> this temple protects the spirit of power. Ooh. Step into the blue light to return to the temple's entrance. Mm, kind of looks like a flower. The little blue petals flowing about. Mm. I can feel a little presence lowering at the top of these stairs. Be careful, okay, son? Now this one, I remember fighting this guy when we were at Walmart. Blaz, Master of Fire. And see, you have to use the the upper screen to see which one to attack first. Ah, he's coming! One, two, three. And boomy! <laughs> so fun. Stop that! Ooh! Jenna, can you see on their heads? Do they have... Horns on their heads. Got him quick. He's a pretty cool little guy. He's like a demon fire wizard. Ooh. We got some sand, but how will we carry it? Wait, that's right, we don't get the pearls. We get the spirits, which I believe it has said a few times already. <laughs> like the time we first came here, I believe it said it was the spirit power that was here. Spirit of power. I saw the Ocean King. He's having the the pseudo widow voice. The Ravansi voice. I owe you thanks for defeating that evil wizard. You broke the seal, so now I'm for you. Look, Thad. It's the spirit of power, thief. This must all be what Astro was talking about. Please help us. We need your strength. I don't think that was Leaf talking. <laughs> they should always have their name. I was locked away with the Ocean King years ago. But now I can feel the Ocean King's presence. I wonder what happened to him. If I come with you, maybe I can find out. If you need it, I will gladly lend a hand. We freed Leaf! Power of Leaf. <laughs> the spirit of power, Leaf, has joined your group. You should go tell Astrid. Yes, we can totally have him be our guide instead of Sela. And when we do, we get extra power. I think we need to go uh, 
Are they called? No, I think they're called gems. The different goddess gems that you can use to power up the fairies. You got a heart container. You increased your life by one and refilled your hearts. Dang, straight I did. Blip. Well, can I restart your weapons? <laughs> they wrapped inside. Remember, it's because you defeated all the monsters, Zed. Come on, let's yell Astrid. Ow! So able to defeat other monsters. But Astrid is waiting. Well done. You defeated the power of darkness, Zade. Thus you've broken the seal that imprisoned the spirit you need to move ahead. Ultimately, you will need three spirits. Power, wisdom, and courage. When you have all three, you will possess the power to find the ghost ship. Now two spirits remain, but the locations are veiled to me at present. I see... Another clue for you to find in the Temple of the Ocean King on Merkay. That's the name of the island. And to further your efforts, I give you this. May it help you in battle. Power gem, sweet. Yep, there are gems. You got a power gem. It radiates power, but you can't use it like this. Store it in the collection screen for now. That's a spirit gem. There are many for each spirit. Find as many as you can. I see that somewhere on the seas you can raise a spirit's power for ten gems. The light that seeks your aid grows weaker still. There's no time to lose. You actually did it! Now we're even closer to getting Rick's aid. Hoo-ha! I'm excited! Oh, I'm so self-centered! But my sunset burn will prove to be an asset and not an anchor. In time... I hope you're right. Okay, let's quickly set sail back to Murkay Island, Zed. Oh, thank goodness. Doing all those different voices was getting confusing. Aw, <laughs> oh, no mail. What's taking so long? I was about to leave you here, Zed. <laughs> yeah, right. What, Lombeck? What are you going on about? I suspect that we're hot on the trail of and her wealth. Don't you suspect the light that needs finding is really a shiny treasure? I really don't think so. Anyway, let's head back to Murphy Island. Yes. Hmm, haven't forgotten anything, have you? Okay, let's be off. I may have forgotten to wipe, but... It's not going to hinder the trip. <laughs> uh, dirty fun stuff. Off to Merkay! I, Alend. That one right there looks like that's where we have to go to get our uh, cannon. And we get the scavenge. No, scavenger. Is, it, is that the right word? Scavenger? What's... I don't think. The Rex from Xenoid Chronicles 2. What is he? He's not a scavenger. It's not scavenger, right? Then what the Davy is it? Forager. No, that, that's what you do for nuts and berries. <laughs> Frog is swimming away. We can't get their help yet. Oh. Salvager! That's the word. That's the word. In my defense, it was very close to scavenger. <laughs> kind of, sort of, a little bit. Okay. Okay, we're going to the island of Misfit Toys now. Yeah, we're going to a temple on an island that was that was major dumbos. It was really weird watching the TV and playing instead of looking at the gamepad. Oh, bird, you want to go? Then you should go. You're a bird. You don't need a bathroom. Just go anywhere. Yeah, it's really confusing, man, watching the TV. <laughs> oh, that's the challenge, though, isn't it? Yes, it is. Temple of the Ocean King. Hey, wait, wait! Oh. 
<laughs> if you push yourself that hard from the beginning, you won't last. I understand wanting to hurry, but don't waste your energy. Don't forget that this cursed temple can suck the life out of you. I know we have to search for clues to find the spirits, but we need some kind of strategy. Just don't end up like this. Hey, you know, uh, I mean, if you say you want to go alone, then who am I to stop you? Why are you trying to put all the work on Sal again? If you're staying, you shouldn't you be having to? Well, yeah, kid, the temple is a little dangerous. Not a place for, uh, kids. If you go in, well, you might not make it very far. That's not exactly true. What? Uh. Too much talking. We've run out of time. That's the end of chapter five. Stay tuned for chapter six. And as always, please buy my books. Links are in the description. Also, please like and subscribe and follow me on Twitter because I sometimes post fun stuff. And forever grabbing.